So we're here in Sutton's Bay, Michigan during tart cherry bloom. It's a, it's a fabulous time of year, uh, but right now we're worried about cherry leaf spot infection. And we used to think that we want to get our first fungicide spray on for cherry leaf spot at petal fall when these first leaves were fully expanded because the first leaves of the tree, they aren't susceptible to cherry leaf spot infection until they are fully expanded and their stomates are open. Okay, and that's normally around petal fall. But the problem is we need to really more consider these brack leaves. The brack leaves are actually the first leaves that do form on tart cherry and they're the tiny leaves at the base here of where these other leaves are, are developing from. Now the brack leaves, they can be infected by leaf spot even at this time before petal fall during full bloom. And so if we get a rain event uh, and it's a cherry leaf spot infection period and we don't have the brack leaves protected, then we've got the potential for a real early season epidemic. And we saw that in 2012 in Northwest Michigan where we had brack leaf infection occur early and then that drove a leaf spot epidemic. We didn't really expect it because the conditions weren't the greatest for leaf spot. We had rains probably every two weeks or so and we, we were protected further on into the season, but we didn't account for that brack leaf infection. What happens if we get brack leaves, if they get infected and the fungus sporulates from those leaves, then it's producing many more spores from those brack leaves, those lesions on brack leaves that are coming up from the ground. And those spores are going to target the rest of the leaves coming from that bud and that's going to initiate infection and that's going to cause us significant problems later into the season. Mm -hmm.